I'm gonna have to try the under eye again because I'm not sure what happened. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this makeup because I'm not really doing much. I already started off with my skincare. I'm still using Cureology and I used the Pixie Toner, um, Vitamin C Toner today. This right here. The moisturizer is still Cureology. What I have on my lips is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I have that on. But I am trying out some new products today. I got some new stuff from Laura Mercier. I have their Pure Canvas Protecting Primer with a SPF of 30. So we have that. It might be a bit dirty because I've already kind of tried them out. But this one is the Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. It's silicone free. I'm not sure which one I used, but I know one of them made my face really matte. I think I'm going to use the SPF because I didn't put on any SPF because I'm in the house. So yeah, I got those two items from Laura Mercier and they also sent me a box of goodies. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen this. Um, they sent me some of their um, eye pencils and all that good stuff, a new brush. Um, mascara which i'll probably use in this video but like i said i'm keeping my makeup really simple so i'm not even going to get to try these products out maybe in another video but yeah they sent over their like pencil eyeshadows and then i also got some new blushes on the glow blush tinted moisturizer stick from pixie oop not me about to drop it um so i got these and just guess which one I'm going to use. Just guess. Um, did I already tell you guys? I got the Honey Translucent Powder from Laura Mercier. If I didn't, we're going to be using this. Let me take these off. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. And this is how the mascara looks. Excuse my nails. I need to get a fill-in like last week. <laughs> I'm not gonna put a lot on because I'm just putting this on to give my lashes something to sit on. But would I say it's volumizing? Mm, I don't think it really did much. Maybe I need to just like pack it on. But okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. But I'm not gonna pack it on. I just want it a little bit of something, something. pure canvas primer in not in like it has a color um spf 30. will it disappear is the question okay okay feels moisturizing i think it's disappearing into my skin that's a great Sign. Will it make me matte or will it moisturize me? Um, I don't really know. Not sure. I didn't I didn't look up anything about this primer. I, I'm just putting it on my face. Wait a minute. I like the way it's making my skin look. Oh wow. I don't think I'm gonna do my brows today. I'm just gonna brush them out. And then just leave them alone. I did just clean them up recently, so they look decent. Honestly, I just don't feel like doing my brows, you know? So I'm going to use the Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. It doesn't have SPF in it, but I want to figure out which primer mattified me now that... I'm putting it on. I think it was this primer that mattified me. Because I don't want my makeup to like slip and slide everywhere. Oh yeah. This is the one that's going to mattify. 
it feels good and moisturizing but once it starts to like settle down it gets a little tacky and has it kind of has like a powdery finish sorry if i keep looking this way my mirror is right there well my big mirror is right there blurring and mattified i have sunscreen on okay so the first thing i usually do when it comes to this everyday makeup look that i do i'm taking beaning this is the juvia's place foundation stick and i just kind of color correct highlight at the same time right here all right so that's under the eyes then i take katsina 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 girl i don't know it's a darker color and i just take that and press over like all the blemishes basically just even out my skin tone all right and then i go back to beaning Focus on the corners and then I'm like sculpt out. I'm gonna have to go in the bathroom and make sure this is blended because because the sun would be blurring everything when I do my makeup over here, so I gotta make sure I go in the bathroom and blend all of this out because I know this contour is sharp. I can feel it. And I can kind of see it. Oh yeah, it's definitely sharp. I'm gonna blend it out. And then I'm going to take Good Apple Cream Foundation. Y'all already know about this. I'm just pulling a random brush. This is the Real Technique Instapot brush. And I'm just going to dip the brush in there. Get some product. And why am I looking? Not a mirror. I'm trying to like carve out my face as much as I can. The next concealer I'm using is the 410 Fenty Concealer. Well, Fenty Concealer and 410. I'll take it right up in there. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up some of this Laura Mercier powder. This is the color of it. Well, I probably should show y'all. All right, so that's the color of the powder. And I'm using a dry beauty blender, which I don't normally do. Oh, wait a minute. This is why I don't try new products. <laughs> what the heck? It's like it's grabbing on all of the skin under my eye. I probably should have did it with... What I think I did, I think I just went in with too much powder. But then again, I feel like it's 
clinging on this side but it's not well never mind it's clinging on this side too or maybe it was the eye patches that I used I'm not really sure um but something that I used with this powder was not the powder doesn't like it I mean from a distance I think it looks okay all right now I'm gonna take cocoa and just set the rest of my makeup then I'm taking ganache <laughs> why am I using random brushes right now I'm literally just picking up random brushes this is a fan brush and I'm using that to contour or to set my contour um, don't ask me why, it was just sitting in front of me. I'm gonna have to try the under eye again because I'm not sure what happened. I kind of like the texture of it, but I can see this being a problem for people that have dry under eyes. This is more for people that have like oily skin and I think that's the only thing that's really saving it is because is because my skin is on the oily side <sighs> I was like fine right here under my cheekbone Okay, dusting it off my nose, I think it was just the mixture of my skincare not really working out with the products. So I'm probably going to try this product again without doing the eye patches. Because I think that's what, I think that's what messed it up a little bit dusting my eyelids with a little bit of powder not too much okay i'm not going to use the blush but i'm just going to use the blush that i've been using blush slash highlighter that i've been using another random brush this is a elf stippling brush i remember when i got this brush back in the day Back in the day when I first started YouTube and I did like a big um, elf haul. I think that was my first haul ever on my channel, an elf haul. Because you know, elf was very, very affordable for me. $3 for a brush or $6 was it? No, I think it was $3 for the studio brushes and one dollar for the white brushes i don't know if it's still that price but elf was looking out for your girl back then it's just crazy to think back to where i came from all right you guys so that is it for this quick trying new products video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i just threw on a little bit of abu dhabi y'all know that's my go-to not trying to do the most today y'all get me y'all get me so yeah I put a little bit of Abu Dhabi, took the rollers out, and I don't have any clippings in my hair. Like what? Who am I right now? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel. My face is gonna pop up on the screen. All you have to do is click on it and you're subscribed and check out the next video if you haven't already seen it. Um, and like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end. Make sure you're interacting with the video, liking and commenting because that lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my channel. And it will make my channel more visible to you guys as well and visible to people that aren't subscribed to me. And I will see you guys later in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.